this facility should only house 350 animals and a week ago we were at 750. So that's a big problem for us. 700 of that was dogs. Hi, I'm Jose Santiago. I'm the Public Information Officer right here at Maricopa County Animal Care and Control. You're being surrendered. Um, the animal would come in, uh, they would walk into our front area as a surrender. Uh, we would then do kind of a very basic health check on the animals. From that point, they would be placed in an isolation area. Um, that isolation would take place for up to 72 hours. We're kind of monitoring not only their health, but their behavior. Is there anything that we need to be aware of? After that period of time, someone would then evaluate the animal to see if they are worth putting up for adoption. And I, I use the term worth, but basically what kind of behavior aspects should be looking for? Is it aggressive towards another animal? Is it aggressive towards a person? What kind of uh, interaction they can have with that animal? At that point, they would go ahead and recommend adoption or not. We do everything that we can to find these animals, not only good homes, but safe homes. we're doing free adoptions. We partner up with a lot of different rescue groups. We let them know, hey, we're at full capacity and then some, can you spare any space? Um, we want to make sure that these animals get a safe environment no matter where they are, whether it's our care or someone else's. So that's where our foster team comes forward. Sometimes even our staff are starting to take animals home and that's really the last resort. But we do everything we can to find them the best home possible.